Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to be creating a three node Kubernetes cluster in Rancher. So let's get started. In a previous video I showed how to install Rancher and uh, really all that is is just doing a simple Docker command on your Rancher uh, kind of host VM that you're going to be using. So I'm just going to do that again and start fresh here because there has been some changes to Rancher itself. Uh, not huge differences, but I think it shows up a little differently. So I'm just gonna, we'll do this, it'll take a minute or two, and then we'll get into it. So what we need to do now is just give it a couple minutes, have uh, Rancher fully start up, and then once it does, we will go into it and set a password, and then just get into the creation of this cluster. All right. We're back, the container is up. Now we just need to get the password. So what we're gonna do is just, well, do what it says. So you don't need to put that whole password in there. So I'm just gonna, we'll see how it works with just those two. I don't really have much else running on this uh, VM here. So oh, should be fine. And just enter this password into right here. Set your own password. And we should be good to go after this. Alright, so this is the part that shows up a little differently, I believe. So, local, uh, your local cluster, that's just the VM that uh, we're running here. So, that's it. Uh, what I want to do is create a new cluster with these three VMs right here. So, let's do that. Let's see this. That should be the one where we... Yes, that's correct. Let's let's see if we can go back to this. Can I go back? Cancel. Uh, yeah. So just if you want to do VMs, just do this one here because I'm not doing any uh, cloud services or anything like that. So that's how you get to that. And for this one, I'm just going to be pretty much using the defaults. It's just uh, just a quick video just to show how you add uh, a couple VMs, create your own cluster. Uh, so that's it. Let's uh, just kind of go through the motions here and see what uh, we need to do. Number one, you need to have Docker installed on your VMs here. So I did that with these two. And I'll do that on this uh, Rancher one over here. And what we have is just... Uh, so I'm using Ubuntu server, LTS uh, 2004, I believe. And when you install that one, you have the option to uh, create or to install Docker itself. So for me, on an earlier version of Docker, or not earlier version of Rancher, uh, I was having issues. Those issues might be completely gone, but uh, I'm just going to install Docker uh, like this. So just be aware you can you might be able to do it the other way too. Um, so so I'm, I already did the, this on Rancher two and three. So here I'm just going to do it on Rancher one, and that was just to make sure that you didn't have any any. Docker engines or CE or anything like that in there already. And just installing the dependencies here. And then we will do the GPG key after that. Ah, let's just do an update too. And then after this we will set up the repository. I'll have these uh, 
I'll have these commands in, and also the link to the just the Docker documentation. I'll have that stuff uh, in my notes here. And then all we have to do from that, uh, let's do another update, I think, just to maybe update the repository itself. And then installing of Docker itself. And it's been installed now. And let's just double check. Just run the hello world Docker image. And once we do, we should be good to go. We are good to go. And now, this is what's nice. You have pre-made commands for you just to copy and paste into your VMs. So when you uh, create your nodes, you need to have etcd, control plane, and worker. Like those three need to be, it doesn't, they don't all have to be on the same one, but they all have to kind of add up to that. So for example, you know, etcd can be on rancher one, rancher two, control plane, rancher three, worker. I don't know if you want to do it that way, but the point is these, all three of these services need to be in your cluster. So for me, I'm going to do that on my Rancher 1 is going to have everything. And then Rancher 2 and 3 are just going to be workers. And you see how it changes it here. OK. So these are, it's working. And uh, I'm just going to click done because it just it it's in the it processes itself. We'll see that too. Provisioning right here. So basically, what we need to do now is just let these uh, images get pulled, get complete, uh, finish running, and then we will see where we are at with this uh, provisioning state. It should change to active, and my experience previously was it takes. A good bit of time so I'm just gonna pause again we'll step away and then we'll see about uh, how long it takes to get all this stuff up and running but right now there's really nothing else to do it's all this is what's kind of nice is everything is just it's kind of working for you right now and then over here we should just see an active cluster in a couple minutes so we'll come back we'll see what we have and we're back and the state went from provisioning to active took about 14 minutes to get that done but we can see we have three machines on here these are my three VMs you can see right there and just a couple other options here uh, so yeah we're just registering these other two my other two VMs and this is Rancher 1. This is the one with all of the roles that we can see right there. So these should be uh, up in another couple minutes. But really, we have a cluster in a couple minutes. And it was relatively easy to do, relatively simple. Uh, Rancher gives you a lot of these commands. I can tell you that I think this newer version of Rancher is a little bit more stable than one that I was looking at previously. So uh, really at this point, you can, I mean, just wait for these to all become active in here, but you're good to start setting up some workloads and other things for this cluster and actually have it work for you. So I'll be making a couple other videos for uh, creating workloads, which are just uh, the pods that uh, Kubernetes is, is going to be using, uh, persistent volumes, that kind of stuff too. But basically here, we wanted to install a new cluster, create a new cluster with three VMs on Rancher, and we've done that. So that's good. Didn't run into many other problems or anything like that. So that's all I had for this video, and stay tuned for future videos.